In this lesson, I'll show you how to graph a hyperbola centered at the origin. The steps to doing this are outlined on your screen, and the question that we're answering here is to graph and locate the foci for the equation x to the power of 2 over 36 minus y to the power of 2 over 9 is equal to 1 and state the equations of the asymptotes. To answer this question effectively, you'll need to know how to obtain information just by reading the equation. First and foremost, the standard equation of a hyperbola that's centered at the origin and whose transverse axis is horizontal has the following equation. What I mean by a transverse axis being horizontal, meaning that it opens like this. Similarly, the standard equation of a hyperbola whose transverse axis is vertical, meaning that it opens like this, looks like the following. Now, take a look at the difference between the two. In the first one where the transverse axis is horizontal, it is the y-coordinate that is negative. In other words, it's this term that's negative. Whereas when it's vertical, it's the x term that's negative. And to give you a better visual of this, take a look. Here we have the transverse axis that's horizontal, so the vertices are on the horizontal plane, whereas when it's vertical, the vertices are on the vertical plane. What you see in red are the transverse axes, and what you see in blue are the conjugate axes. Keep that in mind. So let's go back to the steps. The first step is to determine the transverse axis based on which coordinate is negative. So looking at our equation, it is the y term that's negative. And if the y term is negative, we have a transverse axis that is horizontal. So expect something that looks like this. In step number two, we have to locate the vertices that are along the transverse axis. To locate the vertices, you'll focus on what is assigned as A. And the reason why we look at A and not B is because if the transverse axis were vertical, then we would focus on B as our vertex. So here we have 36, and that's a squared. So a squared is equal to 36. Square rooting both sides, we end up with an a value that's plus minus 6. This actually tells us the vertices. One vertex will be at negative 6 and 0, and the other will be at positive 6 and 0. In step number 3, we're told to use dashed lines to draw the rectangle centered at the origin with sides parallel to the axes crossing one axis at plus minus a and the other at plus minus b. So to find out this one, plus minus b, we will do the same thing, where we have b squared is equal to 9, square root both sides, we end up with plus minus 3 is equal to b. And what these will represent are the conjugate axes. So we'll have a conjugate axis at minus 3 and 0 and 1 at positive 3 and 0. What does all this mean? Well, if we go to a graph paper, we know that we'll have a vertex right here at negative 6 and 0, and one over here at positive 6 and 0. In addition, since this is centered at the origin, we'll have a conjugate axis here, which is positive 3 and 0, and one here, negative 3 and 0. And what the steps are telling us is to create dashed lines that are parallel to each other. And of course, this can't extend further than the conjugate axis. So we have two parallel lines there. And we can complete our box by creating dashed lines along the vertical. The next step tells us to use dashed lines to draw the diagonals of this rectangle and extend them to obtain the asymptotes. So the asymptotes will be lines that extend from one corner to the other. The next step reads, draw the two branches of the hyperbola by starting at each vertex and approaching the asymptotes. So going back to this, we'll have one part of the graph looking like this, where we have part of the curve that's approaching this asymptote, and the same thing over here. And of course, at this vertex, the curve approaching this asymptote and one approaching this. What you see being highlighted is the hyperbola that represents the equation stated in the question. Now also the question asks us to state the equations of the asymptotes. And to do that, we have to find the slope. Now because we determined that it's a transverse axis that's horizontal, we'll use this formula for the slope. 
So our b value was 3, or plus minus 3, divided by 6. This gives us plus minus 1 over 2. The equation for the asymptotes will be y is equal to plus minus 1 over 2 x. So these brown lines represent plus minus 1 over 2 x. Now keep in mind that the question asks for one more thing. It asks for the foci, or the focus, of each of these curves. And the focus will be within this region for each. To find the focus, we have to use the following formula, where C represents, in our case, the x-coordinate of the focus. And that's related to the formula a squared plus b squared. And yes, that's the Pythagorean theorem. Remember what our a value was. It was 6 and b was 3. So let's substitute those values. We have 6 to the power of 2, that's 36, plus 9. Adding these up, we end up with 45. And now we'll take the square root of 45. Let's use our calculator. The square root of 45 is approximately 6.7. So we have plus minus 6.7 and 0. Therefore, one of our focus points will be positioned here and the other positioned there. And there you have it. That is how to graph a hyperbola that is centered at the origin.